A new documentary premiering this week takes aim at the defense companies and contractors doing business in Iraq. As the name implies, Iraq for Sale, the War Profiteers. It accuses the contractors, many of which provide services formerly performed by the U.S. military, of taking American taxpayers for a ride. Director Robert Greenwald is here with his side of the story. It's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. One of the things that struck me about this is the way that you raised money for this particular product. You did a lot of it through the Internet, through individual donations. Uh, exactly. We wanted to get the film done by September, when it's the period of time when we discuss the key issues in our country. And I'm a lousy fundraiser, but what we did is we went online, and it was one of the most moving experiences I've ever had of people giving 10 20 40 $50, and we had over 3,000 people fund us so that we could get started. You also um, are distributing this in a, in a slightly different way than most films are distributed. And you, you kind of make the point that people might not want to go see a documentary per se, but they might come to somebody else's house and see the documentary or to perhaps their religious gathering place. So you're kind of marketing it in a different way than, than most filmmakers do as well. Yeah, that's very true. Remember, our goal with these films really is social change. So we're not driven to have to monetize every dollar as a function. And as a result of that, what we're doing is really the lesson that the Internet has taught everybody, which is essentially peer-to-peer. -peer. So if your friend invites you over to see a documentary or someone from your church or someone from your school or your union, you're going to be much more likely to do it than if it's playing at a theater and you have to pay $10. You take a number of the military contractors, uh, or the, rather the private contractors, to task um, and accuse them of basically gouging the American taxpayer. But, uh, you know, maybe I'm cynical, but I deal in a world where, you know, companies that take a lot of risk, and one would argue this is a very risky proposition, also require or would want to see a large reward. Well, you disagree? I, yeah, I do in the sense of, remember two things. First of all, most of these are no-bid, cost-plus contracts. So no matter what the risk, they are guaranteed a profit. I'd love to have that in my business, where I'd be guaranteed a profit on every film I made by the government, but is it's it, not going to happen. Is it different, happen. though, when you're dealing in a war situation Absolutely. and your employees are putting their lives at risk yeah. along with military personnel? Right, but it's not about protecting the employees. It's about protecting the dollars of these corporations. Look. The head of Halliburton KBR made $42 million last year when our sons and daughters are being killed and Iraqi people are being killed and hospitals are not being built. I find that an obscene figure. And more troubling to me, I didn't know that six months ago. Mm -hmm. I had no idea about this level of profiteering. Okay, well, what about, let's go back to the risk, you know, question. What about the Blackwater um, engineers who, who were basically kidnapped first, then executed? Uh, their bodies were hung from a bridge. I mean, it, it, it made every evening newscast. You would, uh, could you not argue, I mean, that's not the usual course of, of doing business for most employees. No, it, it's definitely not. But my point is the profiteering is being done by the corporations and by the companies that are going over there and charging you, the taxpayer, millions and millions of dollars. Blackwater was profiting for each person that they sent over there to the cost of thousands of dollars a day. And when I found out by four different truck drivers telling me that Halliburton was charging you and me $45 for a six-pack of Coke, I was enraged. So what, what would you like to see changed? What do you want this, this film to change? Well, I think the first step is awareness. Again, I didn't know this. I, don't, I think millions of other Americans don't know that our tax dollars are going to a private corporation, uh, cocky, that provided interrogators at Abu Ghraib. Do you want the head of that corporation, London, making $22 million by providing interrogators at Abu Ghraib? I don't. I think that's something that the military should be doing. So that, as always, I hope that the first step is awareness, and then this is a problem that can be solved legislatively. The government is the customer, and the government can put controls on. That's what we have our representatives doing. They're there to protect us and protect our dollars. And in this case, neither one is happening. Mr. Greenwald, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure.